Hey y'all. Well, I got uh, a couple things with this car that I cannot get uh, figured out. For one thing, the uh, shifter linkage for the automatic transmission in this has a big hole in it uh, that a grommet goes in. It's a levered linkage, big hole on the end. The rod for the, that comes down from the shift column rides and moves this arm like this and puts it into gear. Well, the problem is the rubber grommet in there is just ate up. So I tried a few uh, solutions just to see what I could do. And this is one of the solutions that I would thought might work, but I don't know. Um, it doesn't, okay, so anyways, this little rubber washer right here fits in the shifter that little groove it fits right up in there the problem is this hole is now too big to go over the shaft because the shaft is only like a 3 8 shaft 7 16 something like that i didn't measure it now these pieces you could slide onto there if the groove was a little wider so what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to chuck one of these up in like a uh, a little bit that you would use for a drill to hook in like a little sanding pad you know got a little screw on the end and thread on there um i think i'll check one of these up into that just spin the drill and use a little chisel and lay out the piece and get that to fit um, um maybe but i don't think it's gonna work so i'm just gonna have to maybe i'll just Call, later, I might end up calling uh, American Parts Depot and see if they can help me out trying to get a shifting shifter linkage bushing. So the one underneath there is eight up. You got to really pull it up into a uh, park high to uh, get the neutral safety switch to you know do its thing so you can start the car. But it's frustrating working on old things. We'll get it figured out. Um, even if I have to. Uh, take a piece of rubber and in or take this and glue in that you know just laid off that whole insert and then epoxy the two together i'll make it work so but anyways enough on the shifting linkage what i really wanted to, to do is talk about i'm building the exhaust today so this this video is basically going to be for the exhaust um i'm going to talk about it i i am not going to uh probably film a lot of it because it's exhaust i will film you know bits and pieces but i'm not going to film me getting underneath there doing the bend and then getting out getting under get it out getting under get it out so on and so forth but i will show you like what i'm going to do what i plan to do now and then as i'm doing it i will record but i'm going to actually try to edit a video again the last video I edited, I had words and stuff in it, and that thing took me three and a half hours to figure out. I'm not very computer savvy, but I'm going to try to make you guys better bit better videos. Most of my videos are done in one long shot. So, like this video will all be done in one long shot. Um, but I do want to do start editing, doing more, give you guys better content. For one thing, I want to give a huge shout out to Hardcore Fab. He mentioned me in his videos. I met him last week. Great guy. Um, tremendous work. I, I went up to the shop to see if he can uh, break, make me a bracket, some drop brackets for this to drop the front end down, you know, for the spindles. Um, just a square plate with some holes drilled in it. Um, he said that uh, he'd be able to do the plate just fine, but as thick as I was wanting it, um, his CNC machine, the, the holes would be a little bit janky, maybe. Um, I, maybe that's not the right word. They would be enough uneven that I would have to clean them up a whole bunch and stuff like that. And it would probably be just uh, more beneficial to me to just get the brackets cut by him. And then I can take them and bring them home and punch the holes in drill press. So that's what I'm still thinking about. So, but great guy, love his channel. Just good. I mean, he he mentioned me. Uh, I you know I, I I'm at awe at it. I'm speechless. I'm grateful. 
I thank you for all of you new subscribers that heard about me through him. And, you know, I, 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 it's just overwhelming to me that somebody actually wants to see me do, you know, work on an old car. But I greatly appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Um, but anyways, we get on with this. Here's my idea for the exhaust. Now, <clears throat> these things had... Hold on a minute to get it out. These things had an old wipe pipe that was a two-piece wipe pipe. Okay, here we go. You know over here. All right. Two-piece wipe pipe. That side and then this one went up like this and they went up to the engine. They lay, like, you know, lay under the car like that. But anyways, it's pretty rusty. Um, it looks like warmed over death. Um, it's just nasty. It, it, they were really nice but, um, when they came out. AMC actually, you know, Rambler at the time, actually powder coated the exhaust a real pretty blue. Um, if you, you know, I mean, they lasted for, I mean, this thing's lasted for 57 years. This is a stock exhaust. Of course, the car's only got uh, 60 whatever thousand miles on. I can't even remember now. Um, that ain't right. Let me, I'm going to look so I don't lie to you guys. Oh, yeah, see, I lied to you. I flip it to you. It's 82,000 miles. I don't know why I thought it was thinking 60. Sorry. Don't blame me. <laughs> But anyways, 82,000 miles, and this held up. You know, it is pitted, what have you. Um, but what I'm going to do is, this is like inch and three quarter. This is tiny. See, look. This is not very big pipe. Um, somebody's already cut the, uh, where, where it come back together. Somebody has cut and added a modern piece of pipe. So don't think that I'm redoing it. An original piece, guys. This, if you guys really want this Y pipe, you can clean this up. As you can see, it's still good. I cut it to get it out of the socket so I can use this for measurements and stuff to get my down angle and back for my new exhaust. But if somebody out there really wants this exhaust, hit me up. And uh, the only thing is, is I'm taking these collector or the uh, uh, the flanges. I'm taking these flanges. They will be flangeless. Both sides will be cut. You will have to weld both sides back together. But it'll be easier to ship that way because it'll be smaller. Um, I don't want no money for the exhaust, but you will pay shipping. So I whatever shipping is going to be, we'll work something out. I, I could find something, but I need these. Y'all want the pipe, you can have the pipe. You will have to weld it. I apologize. So, that being said, I'm taking this, and then I'm going to take my piece of pipe. What happened to my pipes? My kids moved everything on me. <clears throat> I don't know what happened to my exhaust pipe. Oh. Right there. Anyways, this is what I got going on for now. <clears throat> New exhaust pipe, as you can see, bigger, two inches. I had a buddy of mine owns a, a auto shop. So what I did was I had him flare this just ever so slightly. Now this is probably gonna have to be cleaned up a little bit in there, but I can start this on here and if I sit there and take my time and tap it all the way up there, it'll catch this. Now on this end, <clears throat> on the original piece, it had that strap around there. I'll show you again if I pick it up. On this end, it has that. That will be easy to reproduce. Um, on this vehicle, it is that to the manifold and that's all that is there. 
I don't know if it had gaskets. It should have gaskets. Or does it need gaskets? I don't know. But anyways, I'm going to take this. I'm going to slide it down here, and that's going to be my stop. I'm going to cut this. I'm going to get another piece of pipe and slide it over this and then tack that thing on. I might drill a couple holes in it and tack it on there. And then I'm going to take it inside and I'm going to lightly tap to make sure there's no gap or I will make sure that it's really tight when I put it on. And then that'll give me the piece for going against the manifold. This will be the stop right here. I'll bend this here, make it look like this. We'll go to here and then we'll have the bend. You know, you get it. And that will be my new exhaust, and it will be two inches. Um, what I think I'm going to do is, uh, let me set this up here. I grab you guys, and I'm going to go show you. I'll also show you that transmission linkage, too, why I put you underneath. But what I'm going to do is, here, let me see. get out of here okay all right bear with me guys um it's kind of dark under here but i think you'll be able to see maybe okay what i got is this shifting linkage Oh, uh, maybe you can't see it. Yeah. Okay, this shifting linkage right here, it's probably really dark. But there's the hole that I'm talking about. And there's the rod that goes up on there. So, but my exhaust is going to come down. And it's going to follow right here beside the transmission. Go through the exhaust pocket on the crossover back to here where the uh here Let's roll around here a second okay back here where these uh trailing bars come off of the center drive out to the end of the axle i'm going to run the exhaust and i'm going to come right here like this and i'm going to shoot it out right here in front of the back tire that's what I've decided. I was going to go up over the rear and hit it that way. But I think it would be, let me get you guys. I think it would be a little bit more difficult um, trying to run up over the rear end because back there is the uh, pan hard bar. If you look, I got this pan hard bar and on the other side over there is a, uh, over there on the other side, there's a big giant bracket and it might not squeeze up between there. Now, that's not to say that it won't, but I uh, I think the exhaust, I, I think I'll like it better, you know, coming down this and then down this pipe and then exiting right here. Um, if, uh, if I don't like it, it's no big deal because you have to come down this a little bit before you can go up over it and uh it actually goes up right here's where the other exhaust went oops let me get our so you guys can see the old exhaust actually went right through here and then up and over the rear and that's just kind of how it was so but anyways i uh i think that's how i'm gonna run the exhaust and i think that It'll be kind of easy to get it done. And I, uh, I want to, I, I want to do a loud exhaust because I don't want to run mufflers. This is going to be ridiculous. Um, if I ever have to put mufflers on it, I just slap some 12 inch glass packs underneath it or something. So anyways, I, uh, I think that that is kind of the plan. Um, I still got to sand and paint. This week, Mike was down and he helped me get the manifolds on. Um, we did get the starter up in there. The starter was a pain in the butt. It took about 30 minutes to get it up in there just because the thing weighs so much. 
trying to get it around everything without scratching the paint on the engine or you know whatever else is up under there um the transmission lines you got to work around those trying to put the starter up in there uh it's almost impossible to put the starter up in there with the exhaust manifold on it so we did it without um, i mean you can and you can do it from up underneath but it's just a pain in the butt so but anyways that is what i got going on this week like i said Thanks to Hardcore Fab for mentioning me. Thanks to everybody that came over and checked me out from him mentioning me. Thank you for checking me out. Thank you for subscribing. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Y'all have a blessed day. Go do something. I'm going to go in the house. Yesterday I went fishing. That's why I got my tan going on. So, you know, I got to go. I don't want to go out in the sun again today. But I'm going to go in the house. I'm going to take a break for a little bit. It is morning. I haven't finished my coffee yet. And uh, then I'm going to get started on this exhaust, and I'll have you guys a uh, new video on that exhaust. So come and check it out. Thanks for watching. Go do something. I'm getting on it. Okay, bye.